Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome to another Salmon Run of Splatoon 2. It is May 13th, 2022, and the stage is the Salmonhead Smokeyard, and the weapon set is pretty awesome looking. One of them is a question mark, which means... Okay, well, we got the L3 nozzle nose, that's determined. But the question mark slot means it could be any weapon or a Grizzco exclusive weapon that you can only get in this mode. So we'll see if we get it. I've never played this stage before, so let's see what we got. The nozzle nose has a nice burst fire. Good damage, too. I like it. You gotta tap the button, though, rather than hold it. So I gotta get used to that. I like these little fan things. Very cool. Wait, maybe I like this stage the best. Easy first wave. I am uh, the overachiever rank right now. Not quite professional just yet. But we're getting there, so it's kind of more legitimate now. We're going to have a lot more boss salmonids coming in here. There's the quota. We're to Mary Poppins. It says you can reflect their missiles back, and I've yet to do that. A little ink storm cloud. But that is a pain, putting little sprinkles of poop everywhere. Ah, oh, get him. Still did it even though at first I wasn't aiming in the right spot, but yeah. Dang it. Super small fries, man, they creep up on you. See, this is what happens. Some of these waves, when once you get to the professional difficulty level, you get so many eggs, like, well beyond the quota, but then it's just a matter of surviving. Hey, we got the question mark. What are we... Oh, a Splatbrella? No, oh, it's just a standard Splatbrella. Dang it. I mean, I'll use it, but I don't have a choice in that. Fog's rolling in. Uh oh. I found a fish, but that is not. I hear the thing. Where is he? On this side or the other side? Must be the other way. Crap. Oh, they already took care of it. Well, what good am I with my stupid umbrella? Got that guy, though. At least one side of it. I will handle this. There must be another one. I mean, this way, that command gets kind of pointless. Because often there are like three, four, or five bosses on the map at the same time. Choo-choo train guy. Come on. Can I just call him a choo-choo train? What the heck am I talking about? It's a steel eel. Who says choo-choo beyond the age of five? <laughs> well, there was that song. Come on, ride the train. The choo-choo ride it. Crap! Crap! Don't die! Okay, they saved the other guy. We did it. One more wave to go, though. Good thing those two survived. And we got the end zap suite. I'm familiar with this weapon. Let's use it a little bit better in this mode than I did in those other maps. Got a shoreline. Low tide. What we got? like to just put a nice uh, maws. Beautiful. Always comes right to the basket. Does the work for you, pretty much. Alright. Not the ideal way of killing it, but I got well, another one. Get out of here. Always struggling with ink. Always too low to use my splat bomb. 
All right, missiles. I hate those fly fish. They're crazy. They splash down. Oh, look at we got two of them. That's why. Is there another one on the other side too? All right, no, we got to save these guys. Ah, oh, crap. Thank you, Enzap, for being accurate. Another guy was probably helping too. See, look at this. This is crazy, man. And this isn't even professional just yet. We got the quota. Now it's just... Eliminating the threat of dying. I'm gonna get... Yeah. Stupid chum. We might not make it. Good guy. Sweet. Thank you for the splat bomb. That was a beautiful toss. Good thing we already met the quota. We don't have to worry about these eggs. There we go. Mass celebration. It's always nice when the first salmon run of the day is a success. Didn't get the jet squelcher though. I was kind of hoping for that because I like the jet squelcher for those uh, steelhead guys that are real tall. You got to look up and take out. So let's do another one. See if we get the Jet Squelcher and maybe a different question mark weapon. Working our way towards some kind of feat. We got that Woomy guy with us again. So that's good, a familiar teammate. Question mark, what do we get? Wait, this is something, the Grizzco Blaster, yes! A rare weapon. This thing is crazy. Low tide to start. That could be good or bad. This thing is such rapid fire. That's the thing with the Grizzco weapons. I think they are extremely overpowered, so if they were allowed in the normal modes, it would be broken. An unfair advantage, I guess. I've never used one of these before, so that's kind of cool. I'm just enjoying playing this game, honestly. You can only watch so many videos on it before you want to do it yourself. Because it's just that fun. At least Salmon Run is. Losing a lot in the other mode isn't always the best. But that can be fun, too. Get out of here, stupid little fish. All right, we're getting this guy. That's right, we got a Maws behind us. That's all right. Took out the more annoying enemy. There's another one, though. Quota's met. Pretty easy quota. Well, I guess it's wave one. Look at all these eggs, see what I mean? They just start popping everywhere, so... You often double the quota, if not more. Yeah! Last second eggs. Like the currency eggs, not the golden ones. Now what? Yes, the Jet Squelcher! It's not the best weapon or anything, it's just, it has decent range. And it fires faster than a sniper rifle, a charger as it's called in this game. So because of its range, and its power really, it is an ideal weapon for these guys! Except I was too far away and getting smacked by small fish. Obviously, you can't have a sniping weapon that's rapid fire like this. So it doesn't have quite the range on it, but it is still good. I am about to die. Get out of here, stupid little fish. Creep up on you after a while and just make a mess of things. Two guys are down. We gotta go save them. 
Dang it. My special's not too great. I don't like the multi mines. Very rarely is that as useful as like a splashdown or. Well, I don't know. I guess it's alright. Final egg for the quota. There it is. That guy saved. Knock it off with your laser beam. Alright, let's get this thing. Not. Now we clean up the mess with the bombs. I guess it does have a purpose. I'm still getting this thing, man. There we go. Too late to matter, but at least I showed taking out a steelhead with the jet squasher. And we're back to the end zap. Very good. Kind of more my comfort zone. Even though the video I recorded using it was not very good. Mothership. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. See, we're starting to get these new waves that are a little bit more challenging. You gotta take them out before they land on the ground to get the egg. And obviously if they put the basket down, a bunch of chum and small fries come out. Unless you can pop it first. And the mothership is coming to the egg basket. I'll let them protect it, and I'll just continue trying to... So you don't want to get overrun by these stupid frying pan guys. Faster. Okay, an egg very close by. There's. Okay, we got it. They. There we go. There we go. Now it's just survival and protecting the egg basket, which I should probably get back there. That's right. You can't even put an egg in there when that's happening first time seeing this particular setup, so I forgot about the mothership thing. But we did it! Fireworks for the finish. <laughs> They're all just standing there like, what are you doing? Whatever. I like this mode, man. It gets fun. I like it when the weapon set is good like this. And, uh, you succeed. It's very good. I'm gonna keep on doing it, but that's all I'll show for this recording. So thanks for watching, and, uh, take care.